Developed triceps will form a horseshoe-shaped muscle around the back of your arm that's actually made up of three different muscle heads that all meet at the elbow, but each head has its own origin attachment point around the back of the arm or the shoulder blade. These include the lateral head, the medial head, and the long head. Anytime you extend your elbow, your tricep is activated, which makes it very easy and beneficial to build up your triceps with just a pair of dumbbells. Really, that's all you need for this muscle that makes up the majority of your arm size. So today I wanna to go over the best dumbbell exercises that you can do anywhere to get really, really nice triceps. And I always like to start with a new exercise that isn't as well known. So we're starting with prone tricep kickbacks. Now, even though this exercise isn't well known, it's one of the best exercises that you can do for your triceps, and it'll feel very different than regular kickbacks. So begin by lying down face first on a flat bench with two dumbbells at your sides. I prefer to be high up on the bench so that my face is above the edge. Then you're gonna grab two dumbbells and row your elbows straight back so that the back of your upper arms is pretty much parallel to the bench. Then while keeping your upper arms fixed in that position, extend your elbows until they're almost fully locked out. Then slowly lower the dumbbells back down until your arms are bent at about a 90 degree angle and then extend back out again and repeat for reps. Next, let's move on to the tape press. For this one, you'll need two dumbbells and you'll begin by taking a seat on the bench with the dumbbells on your knees. Then lay back and bring the dumbbells up over your chest with your arms extended like you're about to do dumbbell presses. From there, you're just gonna bend your elbow and lower the dumbbell towards your sternum. Your elbows will be flared out towards your sides as you do this. Then extend back up to the starting position and repeat for reps. This will work your tricep differently than regular skull crushers and the tape press is also a very effective exercise to hit all three heads of the triceps. Next we have a variation for the hex press. With regular hex presses, you would lay on a flat bench and then you would lower the dumbbells more towards the bottom of your sternum. But to concentrate more on the triceps, you can try aiming a little higher than that. So grab two dumbbells, lay back on a bench and press them straight up over the line of your shoulders. Both dumbbells should be in a neutral position pressed against each other. Then bend your elbows and lower the dumbbells down, aiming to bring your hands a little higher up your chest than a regular hex press. Now, if this bothers your shoulders in any way, then just aim lower towards the bottom of your sternum like you would for regular hex presses. They will also target your triceps, just not quite as much. Either way, once you get to the bottom, just press both dumbbells back up and repeat for reps. Another variation for skull crushers that's similar to the hex press variation that we just went over is the JM press. You're going to start by lying down on a flat bench with two dumbbells pressed straight up over the line of your shoulders. Once you're over that line, you want to shift your arms down a bit so that your hands are slightly under the line of your shoulders. Both dumbbells should be in a neutral position, and then just like skull crushers, you'll bend your elbows and bring the dumbbells down, except you'll be aiming lower towards your shoulders rather than above your head. Once you bring those dumbbells all the way down, extend your arms back out and repeat for reps. Next, we're gonna do French tricep presses. Here, you're gonna take two dumbbells and take a seat on a bench that's upright. I'm demonstrating without a back support with my bench, but having a bench with your back supported will allow you to lift a heavier weight, which is highly beneficial for tricep growth, and I recommend it. Either way, the exercise is done the same. You're gonna raise both dumbbells straight above your head like you just completed an overhead press. Then you're gonna lower both dumbbells towards the middle of your neck behind your head. Normally, we wanna keep the elbows in close together, but for this variation, we actually wanna keep the elbows flared out as we lower the dumbbells down. Once your forearms start pressing up against your biceps, extend the dumbbells back over your head and repeat for reps. Another exercise that you can do with one heavy dumbbell is the regular overhead tricep extension. When you externally rotate your arms like we just did with the French presses, you hit parts of your triceps that are different compared to when you internally rotate them. So although these exercises may seem similar, they are working on different portions of the tricep. And having both hands on one dumbbell helps you lift a heavier overall weight load, benefiting overall tricep strength. So begin by taking a seat with a heavy dumbbell on your knee. 
Then make an L shape with both your hands and stack one hand on top of the other over the head of the dumbbell. If the weight is really heavy, you will have to use your knee to get it up to your shoulder before you can press it up above your head to get into the starting position. Then slowly bend your elbows and lower the weight behind your head while concentrating on keeping your elbows nice and tight together in a narrow position. Then simply extend your elbows until the weight is back above your head and then repeat for reps. Now at this point we've talked about a couple different skull crusher variations, but you have to remember that skull crushers themselves are one of the best dumbbell exercises that you can do for your triceps. You can do regular tricep skull crushers on a flat bench, but specifically I wanna highlight incline skull crushers because the incline helps place more tension on the long head of the tricep. So you're gonna grab two dumbbells and take a seat on an incline bench. Then raise the dumbbells until they're in line with your shoulders and chest. After you're in the starting position, only your forearms and the dumbbells should be moving as you lower the weights towards the top of your head. The dumbbells shouldn't be directly over your head. Instead, they should pass around the sides or above your head. Once you feel your forearms pressing against your biceps, once again, you wanna reverse the movement and extend back up to the starting position, then repeat. Next, we have close grip tricep push-ups on dumbbells. This one is a bodyweight exercise where we can use the dumbbells for a comfortable neutral hand placement. So you're gonna take two dumbbells and place them in a neutral position against each other, just like with the hex press. Then you're gonna grip one dumbbell in each hand and get into a push-up position with your chest over the dumbbells. Then slowly lower yourself down towards the dumbbells while keeping your elbows tight to your body. Once your chest meets the dumbbells, press back up until you're back in the starting push-up position and then repeat for reps. Remember as you're doing this exercise to prevent your hips from dipping down and instead keep your hips in line with your feet and your head. Since tricep push-ups are more difficult than regular push-ups, many people make the mistake of dropping their hips to get lower into the push-up. If you start dropping your hips, just stop, take a break, and perform more reps with good form after a little bit of time for recovery. Another awesome variation is the seated underhand tricep kickback. As opposed to regular tricep kickbacks, this supinated hand positioning helps put more tension on the outer tricep heads, making it great to mix into your routine. Start by sitting on a bench with two dumbbells in your hands at your sides. Then fold your upper body over your lower body and do your best to get your chest as close as you can to your knees. You want your back to be almost parallel with the floor or the bench. And then from there, you're gonna roll your elbows back so they're at the sides of your ribs. Your hands should be in a supinated position. And from there, you'll extend your elbows while keeping your hands in that same position. Once you're almost fully locked out, bring the dumbbells back down and then repeat for reps. Finally, last but not least, an exercise that you can use really heavy weight for to target your triceps is the floor press. Now, depending on the weight that you use, you can start with the dumbbells on your thighs and then roll them back into a position over your chest to begin. However, once you get to really heavy weight loads, which is the goal, you'll want a partner to assist you by handing you the dumbbells. So once you get into the starting position with your elbows against the ground and your dumbbells over your chest, from there, press the dumbbell straight up towards the ceiling. Then slowly lower down until your elbows meet the floor, at which point you'll press back up. While doing this, you wanna keep your elbows pretty tight to your body. The limited range of motion that you'll experience is primarily executed by the triceps since it's the upper half of the lockout portion of the press. So those are my favorite exercises to use for tricep development with only a pair of dumbbells. Remember that you don't need all of these exercises in one workout. All you need to do is take three or four of them and perform each of those exercises for three sets of six to 10 reps with a heavy weight load. I also recommend supersetting all of your tricep exercises with bicep exercises to save time in the gym and to get a really good pump for your arms. For those that don't know, supersetting is just doing one exercise and then immediately doing another one with no break in between. So as an example, you would do tricep extensions followed immediately by bicep curls with no break in between. That about wraps it up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also, if you wanna build up your arms or any other muscles in your body, you have to make sure that you're eating enough protein and enough dietary fats and carbs to fuel that muscle growth. If your diet is a mess, it doesn't matter how hard you're working out, you're gonna be struggling to build muscle. That's just a fact. 
So if you need help developing a solid plan, you can head on over to my website and check out my Muscle Multiplier program. It includes 90 days of progressive muscle building workouts that are designed to help you quickly develop muscle mass in places like your arms, chest, back, and legs. This program will help you gain pounds of muscle without the fat gain that typically comes with other bulking programs. To ensure this, we'll also, as a bonus, map out your entire diet plan, give you detailed instructions on how to perform each exercise, include a recipe book, and assign you with a coach that'll answer all your questions and make adjustments as you progress through the program. To find out more, you can click the link below in the description, or you can head on over to my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.